Hi everyone, welcome back. Remember everybody, I'm Jason. And I'm Spencer. Okay. And welcome back to Nano Week 3. Okay, who can remember what we did last week? Um, we made a microscope with the mirror and then we put the laser to reflect it. Okay, yeah, we, our, our microscopes were made with a mirror and a laser that reflected. That's right, so we talked about, sorry, thanks. Uh, these were our cool little microscopes with our laser mirrors. And we talked about some of the really big expensive microscopes that scientists use to look at nano objects. But our special microscopes were touching our nano objects and then we used our light to bounce off the microscopes to draw what our microscopes touched. Okay, so now we know the size of nano and we know how we can draw what nanos look like. So this week we're going to talk about nano tools. Again, we've learned that nano objects are so small we can't see them, and we also learned that you have to use special microscopes to see them. But does anybody know why we would want to look at something so small that's nano sized, and why we would want to manipulate them? Before we want to go into that question, though, I kind of want to show you guys the videos. Look at tiny stuff. You can't see. Okay, so we saw an example of scientists using really small tools to shape nano-sized objects, and that they had to be really careful while they did it. And the reason they do that is because it helps us understand how things work, and we're actually able to change an object if we change them at the nano level. So for example, you guys may have seen diamonds and pencils before, or lead, but what you guys might not know is that both lead and diamonds are both made of the same element called carbon. They're just formed different ways. So, but before we go on, I want to do a demonstration. So do I have a volunteer from the audience? Demonstración, Want to come up? So we have two different bags filled with an kind of unknown object. And I want you to feel each one and tell me, close your eyes. And I want you to feel the first one. Don't tell me what they are, just tell me how they feel. How does it feel? Como se siente? Bumpy. Okay. Now feel the second bag. What does that feel like? Mm, a little bumpy too and then the sides um, soft. Soft? Side soft? Okay, cool. Well, actually, both bags contain Legos. However, they're both a little bit different. The first bag contains Legos that are formed in a neatly ordered fashion, while the second batch is actually kind of disorganized and just in a pile, as you can see in his hand. So even though they're made out of the same material, same amount of blocks, the way that they're organized can kind of determine what their properties are. So we had Legos in each bag, right? But in one bag they were assembled, and in the other bag they were all loose. So even though they were made out of the same thing on a small level, when we put them inside of our big bag, they were totally different. Just like pencil lead and diamonds. Okay, so engineers, we like to change things, right? Yeah, do you remember when we talked about what engineers do? What do engineers do? They build stuff, that's right. And since we're talking about nanotechnology, we're probably going to be building things on the nano level. And we did that to change things, to make them better, faster, stronger, smaller. We can do things like change sunblock. Who here has used sunblock before? Yeah? Okay. And is there only one kind of sunblock? No. no, there's lots of kinds of sunblock, right? So we have sunblock that's kind of weak, goes on quick, and helps you for a few minutes, and sunblock that'll last all day. When we put those on, does it feel any different? Nope. Nope, not really. And they look kind of the same too, right? Normally just kind of a white cream you rub on, but one is stronger than the other. It's because we changed it on a very, very small level, a nano level. So before we go, I want to show you guys one last video. It's going to talk a little bit about how scientists actually move things on the nano level and how hard it is. Just remember that this here is going to be our nano object, okay? And they're going to try and move it around. In today's most advanced technology, IBM is announcing a milestone in the ability to manipulate and understand matter at the atomic level. So we saw that scientists could actually do a lot with things that are that small. Because we're moving such small objects and it's so hard to move them, we're limited to making very simple objects that are bigger. As we move our small objects, what we can build, it has to be a little simple. All right, so we're gonna move into our experiment. 
and we're gonna talk about what it's like to build with nano tools. This experiment's actually kind of a mystery for you guys. We're gonna tell you what the first step is, and you're gonna complete the first step, but you're not gonna know what the second step is until after you've finished the first part. Okay. So for our first part, we're actually gonna have you build a Lego or Kinex model of any type that you want, any kind of design. And you will have 10 minutes to do this, and then after you finish that, we'll tell you what the next step is. So you have 10 minutes to build whatever you want, and the only limitation is it has to fit on your piece of paper. Okay? Who's excited for our mystery? All right, let's get going. We're gonna pass out your piece of paper and your Lego blocks, okay? And a little bit of Lego. What am I missing? Shouldn't this be any closer? This part. Van muy bien las de como la que sigan con las es. All right, everyone has a marker. Raise your right hand. And you got a piece of paper to draw on. Raise your left hand. Well, the next mystery step of our process involves drawing what you've built. Okay, so here's the important part. You want it to be a very detailed drawing. Okay, so we're gonna take a few minutes, five minutes, let's make a drawing, and draw what you've built. What did you build over here? An alien. Yeah. It, it has the fence. It has the fence. Just use your imagination. You can scale. scales. You want to show it? It's a fence. So, we're actually going to start our final step now. Alright. Okay, so this is going to lead us to our third and final step, our mystery step. It's going to have something to do with what we learned today, which was nano-sized tools. So you guys remember that video we saw today of those scientists working? They're using really tiny tools to change something on a nanoscale. So for our third step, we're going to do something similar to that to show you how difficult it is to use nano tools. First though, I want you guys to take the, the object you've created and take it completely apart, all the pieces apart, and put them in a pile. <laughs> gently, <laughs> gently, <laughs> gently take them apart. <laughs> Okay, so this is our third and final step. And what we're actually going to have to do a little preparation for this. You guys are going to learn what it feels like to work with nano tools. Jason over here has put on an oven mitt on his right hand. And we are going to tape up his left hand around his four fingers. So now, Jason's hands are a lot less easier. They're kind of like a penguin. And what we're going to do for you guys is you have to put on the oven mitt and the tape and rebuild your original structure based off your drawing. I think the parents should have mittens and tape too. What do you think? Yeah. I think they can have mittens and tape. Yeah. Although, parents will have to tape their complete hand. <laughs> so there's a little added challenge to it. In Nano Globe, whichever one it fits on. It's a first. Perfect. <laughs> if, if there's some stickiness, we're, we're going to be able to go. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not too tight, is it? Does it hurt? Okay, got it. Around once. And we're around twice. Do you want a third time? <laughs> All right, we'll go three times. The big bar? No, big red bar? Yes. Right in the middle? Or a block? So it's kind of hard when your hands are taped up, right? And you got the glove on, and then you can only use one thumb? Ew, sweaty. That's okay, we'll wash our hands later. Okay, cool. Now you have your entire hand covered. See what 
the giant thumb. Oh. 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 All right, we're going to give two more minutes. Let's finish up our builds without our thumbs. And then we're going to take off our tape and we're going to draw again. So in two minutes, we're going to bring some more paper around so you can draw your second and third tries, okay? Same color for you and for you. Same color, all right. Now we can't, we have to do it again, I, I think. What do you have to do again? Make this or draw this. Do the same thing we did. Make it the first time, draw it, and re um, take it apart, draw it, and then do it again. Okay. No. That's hard. I'm exhausted. Well, why, why was it harder? This one? Yeah. No poder utilizar I couldn't use it. Couldn't use what? My hands. Your hands? I couldn't even pick it up. <laughs> this is my first one. It has the, this part right here changed from when we did it the last time. Who can tell me which time was harder building? Your first or your second time? Who can tell me? What do we think? Second time? How about you? Second time? Both. Both times? Okay. First time, second. 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 second, second, second. Okay, so lots of seconds, one both and one first. Okay, so it seems kind of silly to ask that question because obviously if you can't use your hands, it's gonna be hard. But that's exactly what nanoscientists do. Because remember, nano is so small, we can't even see it. So we can't even reach in and grab it with our fingers. So those special tools look a lot like pointers which is kind of what you did the last time around. So today, you got to be your very own nano tools. So now that you don't have to tape hands, give yourselves a round of applause. Hey.